You look good? Okay. You starting us off? Um, you are. Why me? Because I started off last week. I've been starting off the whole season. Because you told you to take initiative. It's supposed to be back and forth. Oh, well, we just, we already <laughs> started. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining us at the Fang Podcast. I'm McCree, the one and only. And this is clearly not cooperative, but my co-host, she can go ahead and introduce herself. Yes, guys. I am Rebecca, the other co-host of this podcast. And welcome to this special edition, special episode. As you can see, we have two guests with us. Um, you guys can go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, what's up, world? I don't, know which one, <laughs> I don't know which one I'm supposed to look at, but you feel um, me? Oh, camera, right camera two. Oh, camera two. Camera yeah. two. All right, bet. You can call me Iconic Ill, um, Nate. Um, I'm a photographer, artist manager, philanthropist, event uh, coordinator, and promoter. Um, many hats. You feel me? You can follow my IG at Iconic underscore Ill. And um, yeah, I just got a lot. I'm just an all-around creative, so you know, I'm just here to join the festivities, cause a little controversy, maybe. Oh, <laughs> not the controversy. Need a little bit of that. Don't be toxic. We've been, we've been so, kind of, kind of nice and subtle. We need, we need to shake things up a little bit. We'll see. Yeah. We we'll see if he's gonna shake the room. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Wolf. They even uh, though they already know you. Yeah, it's Wolf Steven. Taylor, uh, engineer at WTF Media Studios. I get the pleasure of doing these ladies' amazing show all the time. Oh, yeah. And once again, I get to be. Grace to be on the show uh, in front of the camera this time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's all I want to say, you know, so, yeah. Okay. Now we all, everybody's done being nice. <laughs> Fuck being nice. <laughs> 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 but we're really here today to talk about colorism within black men. And, you know, there's always been this kind of debate on the light skin versus the dark skins. Yeah. And we really want to hear your opinion on that, especially not within just the black men, but how y'all feel about it towards within the black women. So y'all can start really anywhere about y'all point of view on it, but um, do you have any experiences with colorism? Yeah, I used to be a colorist, technically. Really? <laughs> At one point in life, yeah. Mm -hmm. How so? Um, how so? Like, I used to definitely think that... Um, I definitely thought that light skin was better even though i'm saying this is like this is not 100 percent true actually you know what i mean but i was affected by what happens in school though mm -hmm. you know what i mean so I, I have to be honest about that you know mm -hmm. so i was affected by that and uh like perfect example like on my facebook years ago like i created like a whole photo album because i'm just horny as and young you know what I, mean? I created a whole photo <laughs> album of, like all these beautiful women mm -hmm. and for the most part there was a consistency of what the women looked like you know what I mean? There was only one woman who was dark complexed, and then there was uh, Takara from uh, America's Next Top Model. Oh, wow. And she's just like... So she she made the list. <laughs> she's fucking gorgeous. She made the list. Me. So, you know, that's mm -hmm. the, I was a... Uh, I contributed to that at some point, in some kind of way, if I'm just being forthcoming. Now, I just... I see the truth. You know what I mean? Right. What's the truth? The truth is black is beautiful. You know what I mean? <laughs> black Period. is beautiful and, like, dark, melanated skin... It's, it's gorgeous. That's really, a, there's nothing else to say. Like, I was taking it out of the ranks at one point, and now I understand it absolutely deserves to be in the ranks. Like, there's nothing, nothing is better than that. Like, there's nothing better than light skin. It's all about preference at the end of the day. But you don't shit on women being dark skinned because it's amazing. It's yeah. fucking, I mean, don't get me started on the list. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, I think that's what it is mostly. Like, at some point in time, um, you know, some people may not know the difference between preference and colorism. So right. I feel like even just trying to know, like, differentiate between the two. Um, For me personally, I honestly never really took took it, like, as far as, like, friends or, like, relationships or how I see certain females. I never took it as seriously. I probably used to, like, joke about it. You know, the whole look, light skin versus dark skin or whatever yeah, the case yeah. may be. Like, the faces. With or, the stupid ass face. You know, yeah, or, like, the personality yeah. traits or whatever they, yeah. they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But never really <laughs> took it into, like, super consideration as far as, like, my type or, like, the people I hang out with because, like you said, black is beautiful. You feel me? I don't really have a preference when it comes to that. I don't really have a problem with a light skin uh, I don't really prefer a light skinned uh, female rather than a dark skin. Over the exact or yeah, type or one. even just having friends. Like I kind of have like a good mix of friends. Yeah. Um, if they happen to be dark skinned, you know what I'm saying. I guess we all roll together or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But as far as like a preference, like oh, I'm not gonna hang out with them because they're light skinned or whatever. Yeah, that's um, different. That's, that's a whole yeah, other level. You know, that's a whole different. I know people who feel people, like that. Yeah, and there sure. are people who you know mm -hmm. are like that and just have that type of personality or just want to be around people that they feel like are necessarily kind of like that because that fixes them 
You know, mm-hmm. you understand what I'm saying? So they kind of have like a prefer- preference to that or whatever the case may be. My my grandmother is 93. My grandmother is like, I think her mom was a slave. You know what I mean? And like mm-hmm. as a 93 year old woman, I vividly remember her telling me not to date a dark skinned woman because I'm going to have some black ass babies. But <gasps> meanwhile, mm-hmm. my grandmother is the complexion. It's very similar to y'all's complexion. And she has six children and all her children are the same complexion minus my mother. Okay. You know what I mean? So colorism is very deep. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's very deep. It's not just young generation. It's the generation before too. Mm-hmm. Right. Where's your um? Where where's your parents and, and things like that? From, from the south. Okay. Yeah, from the south, from okay. Texas. Do you feel like it has like a little bit of kind of like geographically, like as far as like family orientation and things like that? Of what? I don't think so because I definitely noticed colorism happening in New York. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. So I don't think it's as g. Ge- it, it, that has a lot to do with it, mm-hmm. but I definitely noticed um as I've traveled here i'm like oh it happens it happens all all, all around mm-hmm. yeah. yeah and i feel like even just going back to like some of the things like as far as um you know what we probably were uh introduced to you know as younger kids and things oh, like that sure. as far yeah. as like you know you kind of get into the habit like i said like joking around with it and then after at some point in time you know some people they actually see that as you know like the, like i said before their preference or personality so they actually yep. just got accustomed to that just not real not really realizing like okay cool this may have been something that they were kind of like just kind of like trained up in in a sense just because of the society or like the friends that they had or because of the certain jokes and it probably continued on or whatever trend or whatever the case may be may, may have went on um before as well too so yeah for sure and even when it comes to like with the whole joking stuff when we were younger I, i'm pretty sure we all made those jokes oh you're so not the whole you're so dark and stuff but you know like the light-skinned people the dark-skinned people oh you're so dark i can't see you you match the couch right. all this and that but even when people were making the jokes back then and thinking about how we think now, yeah, it was wrong, but it was, it was the culture. That's what people were doing. And mm-hmm. it's like, if you weren't doing it, are you even cool enough? Like, nah, you can't hang you're with lame. us. Mm-hmm. And even when you're younger, it's like, you want to be with the cool you people, be right? Down, yeah. Like, you want to have the friends jokes. and all of that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But it's like, now you think about it, it's like, okay, that was wrong. Now I know it don't matter if you're dark, if you're light, if you're in the middle, like, Mm-hmm. I should love you based on the person that you are, yeah, not right. based on your skin color or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you had said something too about there being a preference versus just straight colorism. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it does get mistaken a lot because I have my preference, right. but I date outside my preference all the time. Facts. Like I prefer, I'm not going to lie, I like my men dark and tall. Yeah, but it's a preference. It's a preference. Yeah. But like, I've dated light skin and tall. I've dated dark skin and short. I've have I ever did chubby? I did brown and chubby. Like I usually like them skinny. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, <laughs> but that's my preference. But I've never really thought like I wouldn't consider myself a colorist, obviously. But it definitely is a thin line between the two. What do you think kind of like draws the line between just having a preference and like being just full on like a colorist? I feel like. You're a colorist when you start to use it to insult somebody or you use it as a way to make your community of skin complexion mm-hmm. better than the other. Okay. You know what I mean? I kind of relate it to how people see racism, right. but just colorist is what we call it within the black community. Gotcha. You know, it's the safe word because mm-hmm. you can't say black people are racist, but black people is definitely colorist. Mm-hmm. And that, in a way, kind of shares the same definition where you think because you're lighter, you're better. and you're not, It's not obviously true. And I feel like um, just some of, like, the things where I, I, some of the places or, like, um, places that I've probably, like, seen, like, most of that, um, like, talked about or heard about is, like, uh, strip clubs or um, even, like, in the entertainment industry as far as, like, even music videos and things like that. Like, certain people speaking, like, in the music fucking videos. You get what I'm saying? It's crazy because... Because they never see a dark one. Never. And even when... Even with Afrobeats, I'm going to say it. Even, even with Afrobeats fucking started, Afrobeats. You know, now it's mainstream, it's popular. Right. Even before, I would see the music videos. Why is that no... no why? No, These people no. probably aren't even African. Right. They they're don't probably, be African at all. And it's like, dang. And you even yeah. film the video in Nigeria. Like, how? They be picking the lightest ones. Yeah. And if the girl is dark, just know for sure she's going to be skinny. Like... Thick women don't get it. Like, thick black women don't get it. It pisses me off. And I'm not talking about, like, BBL kind of black. Right. I mean, natural, thick yeah. black women. Yeah. You don't see them in the videos. Like and the, it like pisses... 
me off. Yes. Yeah. It pisses me off. Because I be wanting to be that person in the video. Yeah. But, like, I'm not going to be their first pick. And if they pick a brown skin one, it's usually someone on the thinner side. I mean, it depends on whose video it is. You know, like, uh, some people would, would be more than gracious to have, like, women of all body types be represented. And, mm -hmm. But, you know, certain people, it's just like, you know they're not going to do it. I mean, it's it, not good for the looks. So yeah, it's not more so, like, the right mainstream. One. Like, you know, this is what the, the director or, like, the label or whoever it is that mm -hmm. they probably want this preference because they know it's going to attract to a bigger audience it's or whatever sell. the case may be. Yeah, more than likely it's going to sell. And it kind of just takes the opportunity away from some of the beautiful black women, whether they thick skinny whoever it is that actually whether it's a modeling or anything as far as that um that they can kind of like you know have a platform to just kind of like express themselves or do what they got to do so it's definitely it's definitely a, a a a terrible situation i feel like too because i feel like once you kind of once it kind of has a habit of um what's what i'm looking for like being put on that platform that big platform like that you kind of just don't really get the opportunity to kind of like see it kind of expand or yeah like, and things like that so yeah it's a, it's a it's a it's an interesting world we living in like i definitely would give the majority of the blame to the music videos to rap music just in general because you know they're always talking about light-skinned women always like rarely did they ever like put a spotlight on the beauty of a dark-skinned woman that term that they use they use red bone a lot yellow bone oh my god thank, <laughs> you, thank, you, thank you like red bone yellow bone but like there really wasn't any like things to be said about the uh, the beautiful nature of just a dark complected woman, right? You know what I mean? And it's like, the real truth is, it's like niggas are going out their way to acknowledge, going out of their way to avoid what's just already true, naturally. You know what I mean? All women are beautiful all around the world, but it's like, but why are we going out of our way to just, just not, to just avoid dark skinned women? That's the real cr crime in it all. It's like, damn, we just not doing it for what? And that's the, that's the colorism. Cause like, we can never sit here and act like we have not seen beautiful dark skinned women. I mean, I before know. light skinned women became universally accepted, there were dark skinned women. Mm -hmm. I mean, leading in every pocket of what we consider to be black in the right. world, literally. Right. TV, Bill Cosby, whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. And I feel like that's also like a thing that makes it just, it shouldn't be, it should be expressed a lot more, but it definitely shouldn't be a rare occurrence. Like when we do see it, you kind of highlight it a lot extra, more, a lot more, because it's like, oh wow, you don't see it on a on a regular. And in fact, it should be something that you should see on a regular and things like that, uh, right. things of that nature. Because representation matters. You feel me exactly. So, yeah, and I don't know. I matters. feel like maybe just the light skin thing is. I hope it's not like too political, where it's just like it's kind of just a way to kind of just have that still little bit of, I guess, white image, or I guess to yeah. kind of like satisfy them in that sense, so it could kind of yeah. you know go a little bit further, but. We just got brainwashed as a people. Like, uh, like pe it's, it's like it's really about power at the end of the day. Yeah. So somebody made you think that being light skinned had a cachet to it. So mm -hmm. then you just leaned in on it completely. Like if it's me and him and we both in school, right? And then in school, the temperament at the moment is like, oh, Chris Brown's popping in the streets right now, and all these other light skinned men who are just like dominating music right now, Drake or something like that, you know? So it's like, oh, so light skin is in right now. Mm -hmm. And that's really what it is. You're just leaning in on the fact that, and it's youth culture, like you can't expect young people by themselves to understand the importance of like, equality right they just wouldn't understand like why would they left mm -hmm. to them own self it's like of course they're going to be they're going to go to the to the the most the, le the least honorable thing because going that drives to, going back to us joking and things like that right like, that's what they see like you that's, know, what that's what they see mm -hmm. so they don't they don't they don't know any better like i remember my mom asked me one time steven like why do you love black women and it was just like mm -hmm. i just do you know what i mean i do but she asked me that because she didn't teach me that mm -hmm. she didn't go out of her way to be like this is why it's important, you know? So I came up to the realization on my own, but what if I didn't, though? Right. You'd have been stuck in... It's a, it's a very strong chance I could be like a lot of people just um, repeating this horrible rhetoric of right. like, hate language and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Right, and I feel like, honestly, it kind of goes into the whole zodiac science kind of thing, too, where mm -hmm. you kind of put people in this category, and because they're in this category, you just don't fuck with them, mm -hmm. and, but you never get the chance to know them. Like, it's really, I've seen groups of where it's just friends of just, like, all dark skins or friends of just all light skins, and right. it's, a, it's like a competition thing yeah. mm -hmm. instead of it being... That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. I don't, I don't, I personally don't stick to one group. That's I'm deep. very, I jump around. Same. But there, it does have that. Sometimes I feel like 
there's this need to be in a clique and your clique needs to look the same. That's deep. Because it's not even just like who you're romantically involved with. You got some people who choose to their friend group. Mm -hmm. Because again, they think it's status involved. Mm -hmm. in it. They think it's like cachet with it. It's like, oh, if I'm the guy, if I'm dark complexed and I hang out with light skinned dudes or vice versa, I'm the girl, I'm dark complexed and hang out with light skinned girls. Then it's like, I'm just, you're just what? Right. You're just you, you're just which is more than mm -hmm. enough. Right. But who the fuck is teaching you that? <laughs> it goes back to even sometimes when you even go back as far. I remember like maybe like a year and a half ago, I was reading up on something that had to do with as far as like how magazines, like as far as like black magazines or female magazines or all those magazines that kind of have been around for so long, how they've kind of also taught and brainwashed certain people into certain ideologies and mm -hmm. certain perceptions of even with it goes to black is be, um like the light skins are a little bit more beautiful than the dark skins as far mm -hmm. as like how many times they probably have um a darker female in in maybe like vogue or something like that how mm -hmm. it's not on the as cover. often yeah mm -hmm. the covers or things like that out there you know certain people get the opportunities for these cover magazines as far as like other females and things like that or males even um, to go back and it just it's been so brainwashed or like put in our minds about these things even down from like even if it's not us to the parents because I'm pretty sure we're not really into like looking at magazines and all that but for right. however long these magazines been out they've been putting a certain image into for like sure. our heads or certain ideologies or things that we should expect to you know act like or feel like or you know and and that kind of also has an effect on it too right. on how people kind of see the perception or how they perceive beauty um you know throughout the world and things of that nature because light-skinned men were always considered the weak, and the dark-skinned men were always considered, or you know, the like strong one. Or whatever and it, that's kind of crazy. I don't understand. And I'm pretty sure, and, it, and it's weird, because I'm pretty right. sure at some point in time we've all seen a light-skinned dude that doesn't, I guess, meet that typical light-skinned persona right. or mm -hmm. dark-skinned men that's right. vice versa. So, you know, it's, 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 it's tough. It's a very, you know slippery slope at the end of the day and i feel like it's just kind of like what you kind of take and how you yeah. understand and, and really perceive people there's some levels but i will say I, I believe there are levels of truth to it because once that person buys into the um they buy into the stigma of like oh light skin is better <clears throat> i think there is something to it like like a girl who if there was a girl and she was just like oh i i, I think i'm beautiful because i'm light skin i could almost be inclined to believe that she is maybe not as intelligent as I would like her to be. You know mm. what I mean? Because yeah, she's already leaning in. <laughs> she's already leaning in on something that's not based off of facts. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Versus a dark complected woman. Let's say, and obviously this is not the same case for everything, but a dark complected woman, she has been forced to understand how uh, cruel reality could be. So she has a certain level of awareness, real awareness. It's like American society can be very rude it can be very trash you know what i mean and mm -hmm. that alone just makes her a little bit more socially aware and i'm attracted to that off top you know what i mean that is true for somebody being delusional in the matrix is what i'm saying mm -hmm. That's a very interesting thought. Right. I and mean, it's just, and anybody, I wish you would try to argue with me. Come up here. <laughs> Come up here. It's, it's some truth to it. It's not a, like true for all people, mm -hmm. but it's true enough, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. And some niggas who are uh, uh, men who are dark complected, they are tougher because it's like, nigga, I, maybe I have felt the, I have felt people objectify me and act like I wasn't special or make me feel like I wasn't valuable or you made you I mean? the enemy because of or made me the enemy just because so like, you're darker yeah so it's like oh i'm an animal i'm a fucking i right, bet let me show you then yeah. right some people really take you know those those things that they've heard if they were you know however dark or they were picked on whenever they usually some some people usually do take that as motivation and try to fuel themselves or use that to kind of like create their persona or their status or how they feel good about themselves or right. how they try to improve themselves as they get older and things like that so, right you know, it, it definitely could tie into, you know, those relationships and things like that, too, and how you kind of build up your personality as you get older as a person, too. It yeah. could be a, a positive way or it could be a negative way based on the personality and what you really kind of take from that, too. Yeah. You feel me? Like, some people kind of, like, take certain situations like that and have it, like, as a chip on their shoulder. Yeah. You feel me? And then after they try to use that to motivate and then after their personality, their attitude is kind of 
terrible as a person you yeah. get what i'm saying or they probably take it the other way and okay. they kind of you know understand all right cool i i had to go through these type of things when i was younger and it made me a little bit stronger or it made me to be a little bit more understanding of other people's situations or mm -hmm. cultures or how they may you know perceive themselves especially when you speak speaking to pe people and then you kind of see like all right cool they kind of talk but they bring themselves down it's like all right cool it's probably because yeah of, the self-doubt mm -hmm, the self-doubt is real yeah just because of based off of something that they probably had to deal with just years and years ago that they probably had to constantly deal with and they just didn't know how it's you know called healing mm -hmm. this is your sign to heal go ahead and do that <laughs> like honestly it's because you know um i don't know if you guys have seen it like people just making videos of telling their daughters like oh you know my black is beautiful and stuff and it's very um reassuring to see that mm -hmm. but it's also sad that we kind of have to do that right yeah. mm -hmm. i um when i have a daughter i won't even tell her that she's beautiful Mm? I won't tell her. What you gonna tell her then? I'm gonna tell her she's smart. Mm, so because, beauty is not the standard. Yeah, because to me, me telling her that she's smart is way more valuable. Like uh, I believe that she's going to be beautiful. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I, I don't need to tell you that. And I will encourage people around me: do not tell her that, because she's going to go out into the world and figure that out for herself. You know what I mean? But I don't want the the laws, the structure, the foundation she exists in mentally to be beauty first. That's going to happen because she's so smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and our right. skin and our sense. faces, our pride. It's going to happen. But I'll tell her, like, you're so smart. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're so beautiful. You're so cute. Like, what does that have to do with it? Of course right. she's beautiful. Yeah. a kid. But it's like, oh, you're so smart. Oh, you're so creative. You know what I mean? You're so strong. You know what I mean? You're right. so, mm -hmm. your Heart spirit. Those are the soft qualities skills. that kind of, like, help really build you in as far as, like, right. your character. And that's everything. what makes you a dope girl. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not your... Looks don't make you a dope girl. The shit that's in here make you a dope girl. You know what I mean? So I want to raise a dope girl. And it's like, of course, she going to get into the beauty. She a girl. She a woman. She, it's gonna, mm -hmm. You're going to find that easy. It's you don't need my help finding that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. I definitely jacked that. That's why. Mm -hmm. I jacked that, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm feeling the drink a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> As you but, should, like, I really, I really fuck with that thought because it's true. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I feel like I think I have a lot of personality. But that's because being told I was beautiful was not the first thing I heard at home, like, mm. too much of. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, be smart, be this. You know, like, you know, Africans, they always tell you, like, you need to be the smartest person in the room. Yeah. But beauty was not, like, do you know they cut my hair? They cut my hair and sent me to school. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I was boy-headed. <laughs> like... And that was before the whole big chop was a thing. Yeah. Right. You know, so I had to and go to school. You had to embrace that. Like, you had to really embrace that. I had to embrace real, being like. bull headed. Yeah. And freaking Flatbush. Mm -hmm. That's not it was easy. Tearing your ass up, right? And fucking uniform. Yellow and fucking blue. Like, it was tearing your ass up. Just rude was. as hell. Just rude as hell. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> but it was fucking true. But I, like, but it really. Fact. I like. I feel like I have a lot of personality. Y'all know me. Like, mm -hmm. I come in here, I'm always. I have, I'm contagious. Mm. And Not stuff, like that, and, but <laughs> and stuff like that really make you as a person. Though, and it you, do. You have those, and you have those experiences to kind of look back on. So now, when you have your children or a sibling or a younger person that you're probably teaching, they understand that. Like that is something like what you said just now. Like I definitely want to have a daughter too. So it's like, yeah. something, like a thought right. like that, like just hearing that, like all right, cool. That's yeah. something I want to be able to kind of just have because yeah. facts. Like you feel me? Like when you really think down to the nitty gritty of it, it don't really like yeah. If you beautiful, you beautiful. You like beautiful. You there ain't nothing really gonna stop that but all the all other right. qualities that make you 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 feel me that be the most important part i don't give a fuck what nobody say about me but as long as i'm the hardest worker in the room it doesn't yeah. really and I, I could show that and i could illuminate that type of energy Come on. that'd be the most important thing that really matters at the end matter. of the day you feel like, i yeah, know man. right i know, know how to it, pick man. up <laughs> i know how to pick up Fire. i'll just let anybody right. on here <laughs> yeah. i wish we had more time man i really do i do yeah, ah. i think we got some we got some good shit in so far though we, Limited we did time. Damn, you been? Did you even finish your shot? I didn't. <laughs> Cause you I'm come puzzled. Like, yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the flow and energy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, when I drink, yeah. I get very bubbly. If I start dancing, take me home. <laughs> okay. So you guys just heard the perspectives of two of our guests. We do want to thank you guys for joining with us today. Thank you. We hope you learned some things. Maybe change your point of view. Maybe you have some different thoughts. If you want, you can leave them down in the comments below. Start fucking with these black women, man. Ugh. They fire. Period. They fire. Period. No, chocolate's good for you. Dark chocolate. It's good Cho for you. All chocolate is good for you. Milk chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate. Now I need that pure chocolate. No milk. Ooh, the cocoa? <laughs> the pure the cocoa bean? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, thank you for coming on. We
We appreciate it. Um, thank you, Nate. Nate is um, Nate was actually born in Barbados, guys. Hey, yes, I'm, I'm, but he came to America. So one day he'll come back and tell us his story of the the switch if he remembers it. And you know, our all American, our Southern American wolf. <laughs> And honestly, I shouldn't be drinking. This is why I don't drink. <laughs> oh, you're good. You got it. Anytime I'm on a podcast, we definitely drink it. We pour it up for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, that's oh. you know I, that's my that's my contribution. That yeah. my contribution. So, Drinks. Yeah, we, we definitely I'm gonna have you back. Cheers to a good episode. Yeah, facts. facts. Cheers, cheers to a good opinions. Cheers, 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 cheers. No hate. Yeah. All cheers. love. Cheers. Sorry, I am so excited. <laughs> but um, follow Wolf on Instagram, yeah. right? At Wolf Taylor. Is that what it is? I don't know if there's an underscore before. There's no underscore. There's no Just underscore. put in Wolf. It's not. Thank I you. think there is an underscore. Shit. Just underscore. put in Wolf. I never put the, I never put the Everything underscore. Everything will be in the description. Yeah. Everything is going to be on the screen if you're listening. Yeah. If you're watching, come see all of our beautiful faces. Yep. Follow uh, me at uh -huh. Ill Promotions. Follow me at Iconic Music Group. Follow me at Iconic Images. Follow me at Ill. Uh, yeah, a lot. You need a, a link tree at this point. I do. I got one. Yeah, my link tree yeah. is in my bio. Feel me underscore Iconic. Iconic underscore underscore Ill. Damn. My stuff is in the bio. You feel me? You can follow me. Follow my artists. Follow my promo page. Follow my photography page. I do, I do it all. Yeah, let them know. Let them know. And it's me, okay. the one and only. It's McGree. And that's my Instagram and TikTok. Twitter coming soon. I'm going to start using that shit. <laughs> I like to talk. I'm use that. Talking is good. Um, oh um, girl, you drink. good? <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. Peace yeah, out, but we gotta go. Uh, that Queen Beck, TikTok, Instagram, everything in the description. But thank you guys for tuning in with us, and we will see you next week. Peace out. Peace out. Okay, great. I think it was great. I think this is possibly... Sorry the... I came late, guys. I feel